All right, guys, so uh, welcome to my first moto vlog. I guess that's what this thing's called. Uh, so I've actually had this microphone for a little while, never bothered hooking it up until now. Weather is finally broke here in East Tennessee. This is where I'm actually uh, live. I live in Knoxville, if anybody's familiar with that. I'm actually gonna run over to a friend of mine who owns a motorcycle shop. He's like our motorcycle repair shop. He's over here, kind of right across the way. And we're gonna go see him. You know, they always say it's really good to have friends who have repair shops. If you can't do your own, people can't parallel park around here to save their life. <laughs> Just, all right. Let's go through the freeway. So his shop's actually really close to where I work. I'm on the 350. It's actually legal in Tennessee. If you're stopped at a red light and nobody's coming, you treat it like a four way stop. There's actually law enforcement right behind me, so uh, we're not going to test that out. I think that's right. I could be wrong, but I believe you can treat it like a four way stop. Damn, bro, it's short surf. Really high. There's my friend's shop here. So get in here. No clue what's going on, if he's even here or not. So if anybody's familiar with East Tennessee, there's a lot of hills to ride around here. And uh, a lot of guys rock out on these uh, really big Harleys, but not me. What's up? What's up? Is this for uh? It's for Magic Motor. Yeah, bro. It's for the. It's for the uh, Feast Magic yeah. Motor viewers. Hold, hold on. Hold You're on, in for on. a treat. Feast your eyes on the old. Uh, what do we call this one? I forget. I haven't even named it yet. <laughs> I don't know, dude. What do you, what do you, you tell me. Yeah. Oh, man. What are the, what are the, what are the details on this thing? The so this thing. Chopper, it's a CB750 chopper. Yeah, you know, so I'd, I'd say it's in an Amen Savior frame, judging by most of the geometry on the frame, but the dropouts on the rear, for the rear axle are actually different than anything I've ever seen before on an Amen Savior frame. Um, it's got a little like Mustang style tank on it. Uh, it appears to be, it's obviously original Honda front end. I don't know if it's extended. There's some goofy stuff on it for sure. It's a death trap. It's got some <laughs> shitty, you know, and not that TC Brothers shit is shitty, but the controls are like, they just don't go with it. So I we'll have to tear that down and redo it. Um, basically, I just want to redo the bike. But the first thing was just to get the bike in good running order. So it went through, it's still got points and condenser in it. Um, went through adjusted the points of condenser obviously the cam chain tensioner made sure it was operable and working went through the valves twice just to make sure um it's got the cool cycle x i guess you'd call it four into two uh, makuni round side carbs oh yeah and uh that's what i told you if you ever if you ever get rid of this bike give me those carbs before you yeah. get and, and it actually it runs pretty good and i'd start it but a couple of my guys are in here fucking around with it and already took because it keeps burning out blowing fuses for the lights and stuff so i'm getting ready to go through it though but i don't want to do anything until we can redo the rear fender get, get a little pair of king queen seat on it do a different sissy bar probably do a different tail light the front end is pretty sketchy but i mean i've gone 100 miles an hour on the road on this thing i mean and, my favorite the, the mexican blanket yeah that was just... a that was a gift <laughs> purple white white vans grips don't sell as well as the rest of them so i was like fuck it i'll throw white on it let's run it so so josh owns this motorcycle shop so he's actually 
uh, there's another video on the channel where he's actually riding Justin Justin yeah, CB750. Yeah, the, the, the uh, Walking the, uh, Dead. Yeah, the, the Daryl Dixon bike. Yeah, the Walking Dead bike. He's actually he's actually riding it. Josh is riding it, but it's it's Justin's bike. He's over there sitting on the chair. Uh, yeah. But yeah, this uh this bike for all you for all you CB750 chopper fans. You got about a Toyota Supra muffler or something. <laughs> oh no, yeah, stick welded to it. <laughs> Oh, cool. a, customer of mine, <laughs> a customer of mine had this bike and just thought, you know, oh, that bike only costs like $100 to fix, as customers do. Yeah. And it had some old shitty dry rotted tires on it. And I just happened to have these old Shinko throwback tires on the shelf that only had a few miles on them. So finally, he was just like, man, you want to just buy it. We made a pretty decent deal on it. I think it was fair both ways. And me and the boys have been on it. I put some miles down on it. I mean, it looks it looks good coming down the road. Uh, I'll have to come back another day and, and see you sort it up and ride it. Yeah, but. we're going to do like, I love this header fight, but I think doing like some sort of up, like a, a double kind of shaped, like dump yeah. out fishtail. Yeah. I mean, I, I'd love to start it for you, but like I said, the guy's probably fucking ignition there though. <laughs> key switch well you're gotta, blowing a fuse out like every time you yeah yeah check out this key switch so this came off of like a remember when indian was a company back in like 2000 they were putting them out in s and s motors i bought this ignition like brand new from a swap meet for like 20 bucks but the key's pretty cool it's got like a chief head on it yeah so i think i'm going to use that and then just do like a button start and but i want to wire it into a nice fuse box or do one of those uh am units or some bullshit like that no man yeah, that's cool i mean i i i think it's, i think it's badass as everybody can see there's mostly there's a lot of harleys in here this one actually that you just had that one going it's leaking oil shockingly um that's a shovel head right just a few yeah it's a shovel head and i don't know yeah. if it's a craft tech brand or something like it's actually a decent bike i rode it last night it sounds it's good a little outdated but it's cool looking i mean it does it sounds like it sounds great. It sounds like a fucking shovel head with 40 inch track pipes. That's what everybody wants. Yeah, no, it sounds good, but I mean, you know, the chopper, the Honda chopper. Anyway, all right. Well, Listen. we just wanted to we just wanted to check in with you. Yeah. Well, I need to get my uh, golden nugget running back there. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Nugget to get. I got the, I got the uh, CL350 scrambler answered. Uh, uh ryan's uh, yeah no everybody everybody around here like everybody rides new bikes with the exception of a few of us and you've kind of got you kind of got, got both yeah, yeah. I got Dino. well you own a damn motorcycle shop yeah. so your variety is the spice of life and Josh variety Warren's is the spice world. Of life. that's true it's all right well we just uh i just want everybody to meet josh he's been in these some of these videos he is uh i think we would call you a local legend I am uh, in the East they call it uh, Joshua Moore's Emporium of Personalities. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dude. We'll catch Hi, you man. later. Thanks for putting me on. All right. Let's go home. You know, people appreciate old stuff. Um, I mean, I know I do. I, I feel like if I go out with a bunch of people and we've all got motorcycles and and they're all on like a new Harley or a new Honda, whatever. Everybody usually wants to talk to me, which is cool. I get a lot of uh, old timers who, uh, who always come up to me and they're like, you know, it's the first motorcycle I ever had when I was your age, you know? And I'm thinking to myself, man, I'm 36 years old. I don't know, I think I'm like 16 or 17, but uh, yeah, they always want to, talk to me about you know the motorcycles and sort of relive their childhood you know unlike some of these people who are you know riding like a Harley and they only want to hang out with Harley people or talk about Harleys or as definitely not me I will talk about whatever oh there's a stop sign God didn't stop If we can hit the screen light, yeah. All right, here we go. <laughs> oh man, the guys in the Harleys, I swear it's go around. Go. <laughs> this guy was right on my ass. Oh 
man, just people and cars. And he was turning. He's in such a hurry to get to wherever he's going. Listen to that little two-cylinder. This is definitely uh, won't be my final attempt at a moto vlog. I think as I get a little bit, you know, better with it, um, you know, I guess I can kind of equate it to when you're in a picture and your hands are just kind of there and you don't really know what to do with your hands. It's kind of how I feel um, having a microphone in here while I'm riding. I don't really know what to talk about, so. Um, yeah, we'll try to get a little bit better at doing this. Um, definitely planning on taking some rides on my uh, 750, the green motorcycle that's cafeed out. Uh, it's currently got a oil pan leak. There was a hairline crack in it, um, you know, which kind of sucked. But I actually took it to a uh, motorcycle show and uh entered it into the metric class and it won <laughs> it won first place but there's a big pool of uh oil underneath it where it was leaking so uh i was only at that motorcycle show for i don't know maybe an hour and a half and actually had to get the hell out of there to get home to see why it was leaking and figuring out there was a big crack in it so uh Hopped online, got a old uh, oil pan off eBay, and I'm gonna try to get that patched up this weekend, maybe. Um, I was having a hard time sourcing the oil pan gasket. You can't buy it, I guess it's a discontinued part for Honda, so I'm gonna, well, I actually purchased one from uh, foreign1.com, which is where I picked up a bunch of parts for my 750. They're very reasonable and their stuff's pretty good so I got an oil pan gasket from them for like five bucks and uh, bought you know a few other items for the bike so I, I hope to have it out here uh, you know in the next couple weeks but um, yeah I've just been living my best life with the 350 so anyways guys I'm uh, I'm home so I appreciate you watching and uh, catch you next time